right, so this is how you raise the mast on the Hunter 19. First thing you do is slide the mast all the way back onto the roller and pin the mast at the step right here. Just a simple pin. The next thing you want to do is just make sure that your lines are clear off to the side, the shroud lines. And make sure that your furling is in the forward position because you're going to hook that up once it's forward. You want to put this uh, mast raising pole, um, they have something called a gin pole, into the top of the mast right here. Just like that. There's a little hump that it goes over. It's kind of that provides a little bit of a connection. At the top right here, you have the jib line. The jib runs all the way to the front um, top of the mast right here, all the way down to this connection point. On this end, you have your main sheet. The main sheet runs all the way forward and it connects right here inside of this locker. There's a point right here that it'll hook up to. All right, so to raise the mast up, have a good grip onto the main sheet. What I do is I normally grab onto this support pole and I pull with my left arm and I pull with my right arm at the same time. Reach down, pull, stop. Reach down, pull, stop. Just let it settle every time so it doesn't get out of control. But yeah, it's a very stable system. All right, reach down, pull, stop. Reach down, pull, stop. Reach down, pull, stop. Reach down, pull, stop. Once I get it to this point, about 45 degree angle, I start moving forward like this because you're gonna get better leverage holding onto the mast at this point. Same thing, pull, lift, go. Just take it easy, it's not a raise. You, know, you can just raise it carefully. Pull, stop. Once it gets to this point, the mast becomes very light. It's a little bit easier to control. This is a good point to kind of look over your lines, make sure everything's clear, not getting tangled up. Uh, because basically you're almost at that point where it's fully stepped and raised. All right. Alright, set the mast. At this point, we're going to be connecting our roller furling to the front plate. Right here. At that point, you don't use, uh, need to use your mast raising system because now it's connected with that roller furling. At that point, you need to connect the boom and the main sail and you're ready to go. So at this point, you're probably wondering, how do I lower the mast? I have it up now. First thing you need to do is actually unhook this line right here. Just be careful about um, holding it because if you let it go, the mast comes down very gently. Just grab about a foot or so of line while holding onto the, uh, the gin pole or assisting pole here. And just take out just a foot or so at a time, just like this. Use that same motion. It'll come down nice and smooth. Try to line it up. You could steer it a little bit using this pole because you need to aim for that roller. Let it down, let it down. And perfect. 